forgive him and forgive us all. Some rise by sin and some by virtue fall. You're so good.
some hidden room. But where does he think you? I know not where. But wheresoever, I wish him well. It was a mad, fantastical trick of him to steal from the state and unsurp the beggar he was never born to. Lord Angelo digs it well in his absence. He puts transgression to it. He does well in it. A little more lenity to let you do the harm in him. Something to crap that way, Friar. It is too gentle a vice, and severity must cure it. They say this Angelo was not made by man and woman after this downright way of creation. Is it true, think you? How should he made them? Some report a sea wings spawned him. Some that he was begot between two stockfishes. But it is certain that when he makes water, his urine is congealed ice. <laughs> that I know to be true. You are a pleasant, sir, and speak apace. Why, what a ruthless thing is this in him? For the rebellion of a codpiece to take away the life of a man. I never heard the absent duke much detected for women. He was not inclined that way. Oh, sir, you are deceived. Tis not possible. Who not? The duke? Yes, your beggar of fifty. And his use was to put a ducket in a clock dish. The duke had crotchets in him. He would be drunk too, that let me inform you. You do him wrong. Surely, sir, I was an inward of his. But this I can let you understand. The greater file of the subject of the duke to be wise. Wise? Why no question what he was. A very superficial, ignorant, unweighing fellow. Either this is envy in you, folly, or mistaking. Sir, I know him, and I love him. Love talks with better knowledge, and knowledge with dear love. Come, sir, I know what I know. I can hardly believe that, since you know not what you speak. But if ever the duke be turned, as our prayers are he may, let me desire you to make your answer before him. Sir, my name is Lucio, well known to the duke. He shall know you better, sir. I live to report you. Duke, 
bail these gentle three. Sling not away, sir, for the friar you must have a word or none. Lay hold on him. This may prove worse than hanging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dread lord, no longer session hold upon my shame. But let my trial be my non confession. Immediate sentence, then and sequent death, is all the grace I beg. I'm Angelo for Claudio. Death for death. Haste, Topes, haste. And leisure, Angel Ledger. Like does quit like. And measure, still for measure. We do condemn thee to the very block where Claudio stooped to death. And, with like haste, away with him. And yet, here's one in place I cannot pardon. You, sirrah, that knew me for a fool, a coward, with all the luxury, an ass, a madman. Why have I so deserved you that you extol me thus? Faith, my lord, I spoke it. But according to the trick, if you will hang me for it, you may. But I'd rather please you, I might be whipped. Whipped first, and <coughs> hang after. Proclaim a provost, round about the city. If any woman wrong by this lewd fellow, as I have heard him swear, there's one of me we got with child. Let her appear. <laughs> <laughs> and he shall marry her. I beseech your highness, do not marry me to a whore. Your Highness said it, but now I made you a duke. Now, good my lord, do not recompense me of making me a cuckold. Upon my daughter, thou shalt marry her. Marrying a whore, my lord, is pressing to death, whipping, and hanging. Slandering prince deserves it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a